Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general your general love reading for July. We're just going to take a look and see um, who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking, feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well, guys. Just double check that. Perfect. Um, yeah, as I always say, you know, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if they don't pick up on your situation, you know, you could always stick around and sometimes, sometimes it could be just messages for a while that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in and also just clarify some of these cards. Um, So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick an up as this being your side. First night you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Um, and of course, feel free to other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right. So it seems like this person, I'm going to start with this stuff, whoever this is. Gemini, this person saw an opportunity or saw you as someone that they would like to kind of start something with, to start building in some way, shape, or form. You just kind of felt right to them at the temperance start there. Felt right to them for some reason. Uh, but you guys just kind of clicked with each other, wanting to build something with you. Because, you know, they kind of foresee you being a positive influence in their life on them in some way, shape, or form. And that could be for various various reasons you were kind of not clear on what it is you wanted to do with this person I mean, there's a lack of clarity around something i feel like maybe you heard rumblings or there's some form of rumblings in the background maybe some information or bits of information have come to you or has come to you in some way shape or form so he kind of made you question is this person already got something going on is there a foundation that's already been laid uh are they give it to something do they have something already established elsewhere i feel like that's simply because of you coming across some form of information which caused you to be guarded it's like okay i'm gonna pull up my barriers i'm not gonna run with this just yet i'm gonna you know keep this person be smart be smart move smart when it comes to this person with your ear to the ground still having your ear to the ground about seven there level of emotional maturity but there is this waiting it's like i'm waiting to see what this means or i'm waiting to get answers to this and you you wasn't wrong you wasn't wrong i mean two of souls which talked about them not wanting to deal with something so it seems like this person didn't want to deal with something that they had going on um something that they felt really uncomfortable didn't want to face or felt felt it was difficult to maybe face or wrap it up Maybe that has to do with, maybe uh, what comes to mind is maybe, and this is this is not for all of all of that, this um, to do with just maybe how they behave regarding someone else, how they kind of, tr I get this sense of, you know, when someone's a bit careless with people that they don't really care about, so they're a bit slapdash, so to speak, but once they kind of, Meet someone, I'd love to say this is right, but this is just how sort of people operate uh, for various people. But when they meet someone that they kind of click with, they, they, they're they doing all the things right that they, you know, the calls coming through, the, the dates are there, they, I mean, they're putting in the effort also. But like it has something to do with that. And it's caused maybe this person to be a bit clingy and, you know, they're just kind of not really handling it well or not willing to handle it well. Uh, but there's something they're definitely not wanting to deal with. The yeah, hand or, or face, which just caused them to be a bit slow, or was this is kind of coming from where you guys coming from, causing them to be a bit slow, uh, but still attract, still very much drawn towards you. I feel like because you're showing up as yeah. now, I kind of you know, and as well as you have an ace of swords there, so it seems like you put in there's some form of information that has come out or that came to you. 
with the Ace of Swords there, Gemini, which caused you to maybe finalize this or just say, you know what, I'm not willing to proceed or continue in this relationship or connection with you. Some of you say, I'm not even willing to start something because I don't think it got far anyway. Um, but got far enough, it, it got far enough for you to feel the loss of this. Or just think about the loss of this, you know, whatever this information came. Whatever that was and how it was, it changed things. It changed things, but it caused you to say, okay, well, I've made a decision about this, which is I'm not going to continue with this person. Regardless of whether this person is trying to get you back, because they are showing up as the emperor. And you do have that seven of swords, sorry, the seven of wands there. You know, defending yourself or protecting yourself. I feel like this person is trying to maybe contact you, phone uh, calls, you know, trying to explain their self ultimately because they are shown up as the emperor. But they also do have a high priestess. So they're trying to, you know, take control of the situation that has gone, you know. And that's simply because the high priestess there the high priestess talks about you know divine connection you know deep spiritual connection sometimes that represents soulmate or even twin flame you know seeing you in a certain light they're seeing you as someone that they have a deep deep kind of connection with maybe for some of them they can't even explain why they don't understand why it's like okay i've got to make a choice about this i need a solution about this i'm not sure how to deal with this i'm not sure what to do when it comes to um, my Gemini in this situation that I found myself in, where with you, it's like, you know what? I've made a decision. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go through those emotions um, of loss when it comes to this person. Yeah, I feel a bit, you know, uncomfortable, not feeling too good. There's been a change. There's It's a bit frosty between us, but I just want to move on. I just want to move forward. I just want to move forward. You know, and this person is like, You know, I feel I feel this about this person. I like Gemini with the sun. Not only do I see them as, you know, priestess represents, but I feel this. I feel like this person is, is positive for me. This person is um brings has a positive impact on not only me but on my life. You know, and now I'm a little confused because something something's come you know, something's fallen apart. With a tower card there. Nope. Left this person confused, wanting, uh, with things wanting to uh, turn around in their favor. Now I get, I get where, and you know, you're gonna do what, you, you, what feels right to you, what you're being guided to do. I'm just here to kind of bring that information. I'm not sure too much about what's going on here in terms of where this person. Or what they have going on there. I'm only kind of getting clarity on their feeling regarding, you know, you and the situation and then of course what they're thinking as well. And it's Yeah, it's just something that they're not wanting to deal with or that they maybe need to take accountability for. Yeah. And it's like they're not it's like how do I explain that? It's like they're not. It's like they're so caught up in with you and the stuff that they got going on with you and talking about in the past here that it's not really motivating them to want to do this. Like maybe this is a nuisance or a nonsense uh, to them, an interference type of thing. You know, an interference that I don't want to have to deal with now. I'm not, I'm not in the space to do it. Can't be bothered to do it. Oh yeah. So, you know, we're going to move into part two of the reading, see where this moves to, guys. Um, so those of you that are interested, link should be in the description bar below. But as it stands, like I said, you know, this is... This is something that... This is something that... Oh, this is something... Online. This is something that... Anyway, yeah, hopefully this is giving you some full account support with guidance. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly symbols and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe. Other than that, see you next.
All right. So you move into this place with the uh, 